Hi Taurus, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Uh, just a couple things for those of you who are new to the channel. Uh, everything you need to know about my channel is in the description box. Details uh, regarding personal readings and also details how to win a free personal reading. So with that, we're going to get started. This is going to be your reading the week of August uh, 31st. I'm sorry, July 31st. <clears throat> Excuse me. Please know um, that it is a general reading. may not resonate with everybody out there and timing can be flexible. Okay, so don't get too hung up on the dates okay i'm going to cut the deck here we're going to see what the energies are i will use these main energies for both love money and career um, i will break down money career and love in the weeklies okay and if you do enjoy this for format please uh, give it a like i do appreciate it so your first card here is the world card beautiful <clears throat> number 21 which is three we have the four of water okay feels like something's being offered here some sort of change new beginning here oh my gosh look at this and you have the ten of water beautiful and let's see what's on the bottom of the deck bottom of the deck oh we got a message messenger of earth here and I have to say we do have the page of earth so it does feel like there's some sort of good news some sort of good news. I do read the page of Earth that this good news could come between now and a month's time. Um, could be coming from a place at a distance too with this world card. Doesn't have to be. Something's being offered, okay, with this Four of Cups. Now there is an indication that you may be hesitant about this offer or you may have other offers here, okay? This could be in love, this could be a money career. We're gonna break it down, we're going to see. Um, I always say with the Four of Cups, uh, the universe, you know, there's something that stands out about this offer, okay? And the universe is telling you at least investigate it, at least investigate it, okay? There's no harm in that. And then look, I do feel like Something good's coming here, Taurus. This is Ten of Cups energy. This is happiness here, okay? Uh, look at this uh, Buddha here sitting there uh, happy. Okay, I want to say fat and happy, but, you know, healthy. Healthy and happy, okay? We'll say that. Not fat and health, healthy, but, I mean, fat and happy, but healthy and happy. So let's pull the energies here. Let's see uh, what the energy shows here for money and career. Please show Taurus what they need to know regarding money and career. Please show Taurus what they need to know regarding money and career. Okay. So let's see here. Wow. Look at that. Your very first card here, you have wish granted. So dreams are coming true. Prayers answered. This could be a miracle. This could be a miracle on the way for you. It does feel like something here you've been patient about. Okay, that's what it's saying here as well. Um, this can also be, right, if you don't have a wish, this is telling you to ask for more. Ask the universe for something more. It could prompt, right, this offer here. Always set the intention of what you're trying to manifest. You also have here, beautiful, the unicorn. Unicorn talks about unique perspective. Okay, again, something here, miracle worker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Money magic, a dream come true. Wow. This can also be like an extra job here. Okay, so if some of you are trying to bring in some extra money, I feel like too with this four of water, there could be um, some sort of side job or something, side hustle that could bring you extra money. Let's see what else we have here. You also have here resolve. This is uh, dedicated to achievement. Okay, this talks about consistency. This talks about uh, the long term. This can talk about you being on top. So this can be an energy. Something here is changing. There's a new cycle in your life here, okay? You hold the key here to success is what I'm feeling here, all about your intention. But I feel like there could be um, some sort of unique opportunity that comes your way, Taurus. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. Okay, I had these backwards. Messenger of Earth. 
um, and the page of earth. We got the rising tide. Oh my gosh, I just have to say, Taurus, money and career looks really good for you. Your ships are coming in here. Some of you, this could be um, you starting your own business. This is entrepreneur energy. This could also be uh, you working from home. You having more freedom in your job, something, you know, something is smooth sailing here for you. This is what this is leading to. This also can be rewards coming in, okay? So some of you, you know, there could be some money coming in for you here that puts you in a better place, takes you to the next level. This is also an energy here of luxury. I mean, look at this beautiful, you know, I don't know if this is a sailboat or a yacht it looks like a sailboat here but something's happening something's changing in your world here taurus in money and career now you have uh, rituals on the bottom of the deck and this talks about bringing in your prosperity so this is telling you there's going to be some sort of movement or change here but i'm also going to say you know if you haven't set the intention out there then you need to start doing that, okay? So if you're in the thought process of whatever your situation is, this is about too, you could say affirmations, this is about you making it rain, right? Maybe you making it rain money here. And um, it says here, there's something here about objects of power, okay? So, right, this could be, um, maybe things that you feel are lucky because they definitely get like a lucky, wishful energy here okay so something unique is changing i feel uh taurus in your money and career here bringing a lot of happiness okay and some sort of message of good news i feel like it's um if you have felt that things have not been consistent in money career that is changing and some of you, it may be, it's the next step, your next level, wherever you are. So if you're already doing well in, in money and career, it may be a different perspective that takes you to the next level. So let's see uh, what the energy is here in love for you, Taurus. Please show Taurus what they need to know in love. For Taurus, okay. I'm running out of room here. I'm gonna do it this way. Move that over. Get one more. Okay. Well, beautiful. Here you have the Sun card on the bottom of the deck. Leo energy something's looking up for you i feel a lot of happiness here right with the sun card we got the six of swords and we have the page of cups what's interesting here is with the world card and the six of swords there may be something here around travel but i feel like there is a love interest here with that page of cups coming towards you bringing a lot of happiness joy peace all right into your life prosperity possibly even a child for some of you but there's good news here i feel with this page of cups and this messenger of earth here right something being offered this could be a new love offer for some of you this could be somebody that you know coming towards you you do have here uh, the magician and you also have the six of cups now someone this could be someone you know this could be someone you know from your past it could be a friend but this can just be about you manifesting peace and harmony in your life Okay, that's what's changing here. I feel like this is about, you know, I'm just going to say wish granted is here too. And, you know, there could be some sort of prayer uh, being answered here. Maybe this is um, a new love coming in for you. Like I said, there's, there's an offer here. But you have to decide, right, whether you want to take this offer or not. Okay, but it stands out you need to look at it is what spirits trying to tell you you have the high priestess and you have uh, the nine of pentacles here okay so Taurus I feel this is your energy this is telling me um, that you're definitely in an energy of being very independent I feel like your energy I think I said it earlier very patient um, and this is about you listening to your intuition okay again look at all these pentacles here i feel like too you know 
career looks really good for you. You're sitting pretty is the energy that I'm seeing here, or you're going to be sitting pretty. Very nice energy, attractive energy. And like I said, uh, that page of cups, it could be, and we got the four of water and the ten of water, it could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, and we also have the Moon card. We have of, uh, Pisces, Cancerian energy here, okay? So there's something here about this offer that is unknown here with the Moon card. I'm going to clarify. We're going to see what this is about. Now, that could be the uncertainty, the hesitation that I see here. Now, you also have here the Six of Wands, and you also have here the Ten of Wands, okay? So some of you, this may be a love situation. Maybe you're not sure where things are going. Maybe you're not uh, feeling like your love life is um, in the place that you want here with the Six of Wands. So we're going to see here what that's all about because, as I said, there is, um, sorry, huh, there goes my dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, sorry. Four of Cups, and we have the King of Swords, okay. So look at this, There's this popped out before I could even start to clarify anything here. Four of Cups energy again and the King of Swords. There's some sort of communication, all right? And I feel that's coming towards you. And you're really hesitant about this for some reason. Now, I feel like this, there's an energy here, Taurus. This could be somebody in your life already. Um, you know, this could be somebody new coming into your life. Or, you know, could even be a partner here. But there's something here, a need for clarity. So whether, you know, you're wondering, you know, is there potential for love here? Or, you know, is this the right person for me? Whoever this is, that's that's. Uh, you're going to see, receive some sort of message from, I feel like this is about you kind of gaining clarity here about this person. So let's, um, I'm going to clarify the moon card because there's something unknown here. And then I'm going to go back to the, um, to the uh, high priestess and I want to see what your intuition is telling you. Tell me more about this moon card. Tell me more about this moon card. Okay, we have the queen of cups. We have temperance. Sagittarius energy, and we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the King of Cups. Okay, we got a Divine Counterpart energy here, and again, we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I feel like there could be somebody here, either, you know, someone you're dealing with, or you, does feel like an energy like, it feels like, I almost get this energy, but that you and someone here are feeling things out. Um, this is if you know this person, okay? If there's someone already around you. Um, it feels like there could be something here around balancing your feelings, your emotions here, seven of wands. does feel like almost like somebody here is holding back how they truly feel about you, Taurus. But for others, this just could be, right? This could be a person, divine partner coming in for you, seven of wands. Maybe um, this is, you know, you've been through a period of time where you've just been focused, you know, working on yourself, focused on your money and your career here, okay? And that could be too why there's hesitation here, okay? You may have some hesitation, some doubt, some uncertainty here about this offer coming towards you. Some of you it could be a reconciliation here with uh, temperance. So let's see what your intuition is telling you here, okay, about this offer coming in. And some of you, this offer may not have come in yet. Um, but let's just ask, what's your intuition telling you, Taurus, about love? What is uh, Taurus's intuition telling them about love? Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles. We got the High Priestess again. We got the Wheel of Fortune. And we got the tower, interesting. And we also have here the four of swords. So it feels like you've been thinking about a relationship here or the potential of a relationship here. Something here about fate, okay, or divine intervention here, I feel, with the wheel and the tower. Now, some of you, it may be, when, when, when am I going to meet this person, right? 
And again, the high priestess here, thinking about the potential I feel. Also listening to, I feel, uh, there's an energy here of listening to the divine here, okay? Looking for something stable and secure here. And I feel like there could be a person here in your life, Taurus, that you're unsure how this person feels about you is the energy that I get. So I feel like there's definitely, you got the Four of Swords, you have the Five of Cups here, and you have the Strength card. Now some of you, I feel like there could be a reconciliation here. Somebody who has regrets, somebody here who wants forgiveness, this could be someone here, you know, that it's taken some time here to really come towards you. I'm going to clarify that for water and see what the hesitation is here. So let's see here uh, why the Ten of Wands is here. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. Okay, we got the Five of Wands, Four of Wands. We have the Four, Five, and Six, and we have Judgment. And we have the star card here. Okay. I feel like, Taurus, this is Aquarius energy. I feel like you st still have hope and have faith here that the person that's meant to be in your life, that's fated to be in your life, is, is coming into your life here. Okay. But I do feel like there is a situation from your past that caused you, that caused a lot of drama. Um, I feel here. And... Some of you, whether this is someone you're still dealing with or that it's the person coming in here, but some of you may struggle, I feel, with um, relationships right now because I do feel like there's a past person here that there was some sort of drama or you and this person were not on the same page or there was some sort of conflict here, okay? So it's almost like you can't see the forest amongst the trees here with the Ten of Wands, right? You're looking for that success. You're looking for stability here. It does feel like you'd like a loving, stable relationship here. But either you are dealing with a particular person or you've had some, some very um, conflicted relationships or relationships that didn't go well in the past. And that makes you hesitant in love. Tell me more about this four of water. Tell me more about this four of water. Okay, we got the three of cups. We have the king of wands. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the nine of pentacles here. Well, there's an offer here. There's someone that's going to pursue you here. Yeah, and look at that. You have the ace of cups. I'm going to say, Taurus, I feel like this is a new love energy. It could be a reconciliation, a new start in love. But for a lot of you, I feel this is a new love. I feel there's a new love here. I feel someone uh, that is going to take some sort of action towards you. We have the Three of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. There's a love offer here. And you may meet this person, I feel, in a social setting. Um, it could even be amongst friends. Um, or within your community is the energy that I'm seeing here. And that could be also what I'm seeing here, that um, fate may have um, a hand in this coming out of the blue here, okay? And maybe you intuitively feel that, like you're going to meet this person, right? Um somehow some way right but i don't feel like it's a um you know someone you meet online it can be because i will say also here too with the with the uh, magician and the six of cups you are the magician right you have to set those intentions right we it talked about here um rituals right there's there's things that you may need to do right to manifest this love in your life affirmations right? Maybe it's, um, you know, writing down. I always say that's a good thing to do, write down the type of person that you want in your life. But I feel like whatever you set your mind to, whatever you set your intention to, is going to start manifesting here, Taurus. So I feel like there's a really nice offer here. You got the nine of pentacles here, someone who's going to be very, very attracted to you. And again, I feel like we, we had the nine of pentacles here as well. I feel like, Taurus, you're going to do well, very well here in money career. And I feel like there's somebody here you're going to meet. 
So let's um, pull some Romance Angel cards and see what the energy is here for you. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Taurus? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Release your ex. And I was talking about that energy. I feel there's a past situation. And some of you, you may be over the ex. I'm just going to say you may be over the ex. But what happened in your situation could make you very guarded and hesitant in love. Okay, so there may be some healing here. It may be, you know, some of you maybe haven't forgiven the past. That can be as well. So that's what I feel that energy is. Okay, yeah, look at that. You got honeymoon. And this is an energy of you moving on, releasing a past situation and moving towards your happiness, okay? And, and mentally being prepared and mentally feeling good about something better than I feel is going to happen for you, uh, Taurus, okay? you got, I see the angel wings here, and, a, and I'm feeling an energy here of protection, okay? Your guides and your angels are helping you move on from a past situation. Oh, boy. You got separation, and you have give your relationship a chance. Interesting here. Well, there could be someone here that there's distance from. And that may be, you know, maybe some of you are still hoping for a second chance. Like I said, some of you, you know, this can be somebody coming back around wanting an opportunity. And that is why you're hesitant. Um, but that, that does not resonate with you. I feel like most of you, this is going to be new love. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So either you're very cautious here about love, Taurus, or I feel, right, this may be an ex returning. You also have here calling in your soulmate. And this is too about your prayers, your affirmations, and visualizations help bring you and your soulmate together. And look at that. Romantic feelings. So I feel you're manifesting somebody here, um, Taurus, a counterpart here, someone who feels the same way about you that you do. Okay, and now it can be just that it's someone new who is looking for a partner just like you. Okay, let's see what the guidance is here for you, Taurus. Beautiful, look at that, the High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. Okay, this is a very intuitive energy. So this could be about your intuition, your psychic insights. Some of you may be spiritual teachers. Okay, you have something to teach other people. You have don't back down, stand up for what you believe is right. Okay, this talks about your desire, your passions, don't give up. Okay, this could be around money, career too. It doesn't have to be just around love. Oh, beautiful. And you have infinite supply. It says you are supplied for today and all your tomorrows. So this is telling you the universe is going to bring in what you need and you are going to attract and manifest what you need going forward here okay so i feel it's a very positive reading taurus we're going to uh, pull a final message here this is a message from your guides and your ancestors thank you spirit and angels for your guidance what uh, message do you have here for taurus okay dearest taurus are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to take a little break from all that and start having fun. When you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. We just need you to let go a little. Spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter when you have fun. What, when was the last time you really let loose silly and goofy? Maybe you need to go dancing or watch some funny comedy to make you laugh or call the one friend you know will remind you how ridiculous and delightfully giddy you can be. You will return refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world as less daunting. And you will be ready to receive in perfect timing the bounty that spirit has for you. Don't you just love how much... 
uh, how much we care about you. So beautiful message there, uh, Taurus. I feel like don't take life so seriously here is, is what I'm getting from this message. Go have fun here. I see some really nice things manifesting for you this week. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.